Hey there, let's get your machine all set up with G-Wizard so that it knows what your machine can and can't do. For starters, setup is under the setup tab, naturally. And the first thing you want to look at is what units do you want to use, inches or metric. You can change that at any time and uh, the product will change all the measurements throughout to use the system you like to use. If you're a beginner, be aware that the getting started has a glossary right here that will give you all of the terms that you need to understand uh, as you're working through the different parts of the product. So it's all defined for you right here to make it easy for you to keep up with what's going on. Okay? Next thing is you've got your units set up and you're ready to get in here and what we need to do is we need to choose a machine profile or we need to set one up for your machine if there isn't one already there. So click the machine profiles and you can kind of scroll through and see if one exists for your machine. If it doesn't, either choose one of these generics depending on whether you have a lathe, a CNC router, or a milling machine or choose the next best thing. I mean, if you have a small hobby class uh, CNC router, pick one of the Shape Oco uh, uh, machine uh, profiles, for example. You know, if you have a heavier duty uh, CNC router, Laguna or ShopBot. You know, there are Haas profiles here, both lathes and mills. So pick something that's similar uh, to your machine and that'll all show up here. Now you're ready to either uh, proceed you can just save the profile and, and go start using a G wizard and make sure your machine is selected or customize it for your machine. Let's go ahead and, and go through customizing for your machine because it's really easy. You just have to answer a couple of questions. So you know, decide what make model and uh, uh, type of machine you have here. I'm going to call this, uh, well, I'm going to call it Bob's VMC. Uh, it's, it's a mill. We have mill, router, and lathe. Uh, let's say that I uh, got it from CNC Cookbook, and its model number is uh, VMC BW, right? So that's all whatever you want to call your machine profile for your machine. Now, you just need a little bit of data to get going here. You need the maximum spindle RPM. I don't know, maybe I have a 10,000 RPM spindle on this machine. The minimum RPMs, well, maybe this one can only go down to 400 RPM. And the spindle power, let's say I have a 15 horsepower spindle. And then you need the maximum feed rate. And let's see, I can go 400 inches per minute. Now, if I save that out, and let's go back and make sure we select uh, Bob CNC. It's right here, and I'm going to click OK. Right, so now I have Bob CNC selected. And I go over here and Feeds and speeds, I have Bob's VMC. That's all it takes. You've now configured your machine profile. It's really easy. Just a couple of questions to answer. So go ahead and do that on, on G Wizard now, and you're ready to start doing feeds and speeds after that. Thanks.